The A380 has had a busy few weeks in our industry, following Lufthansa returning their first 380 to Germany after a lengthy stay in long-term storage. Now though, Qantas has some exciting developments that have taken place in recent days, including the world's largest passenger plane. I thought what better time than to cover them right now here on the channel. Beginning with the launch of a new service, if you're interested in learning more about the 380, do stay tuned till the end. Yesterday saw the launch of one of the most hotly anticipated routes, Melbourne to Dallas, a non-stop service operated by the 7879 Dreamliner, an aircraft that has become crucial to the international network and recovery of the flag carrier Qantas. Not only is this new destination for Melbourne, Melbourne, but it also adds further North American connection possibilities. Melbourne's a destination, of course, that has always lagged behind Sydney in terms of connections to that part of the world. It is therefore seen many travellers have to head upwards to Sydney to take a flight internationally to North America. Through this new addition of Dallas from Melbourne directly, the possibility of flying now exists to this location and further onwards, and that's definitely reiterated through comments made by the domestic and international CEO of Qantas, Andrew David, who said we've already seen a great response to their flights since they went on sale, not just from those wanting to visit Dallas, but for travellers wishing to take advantage of excellent connections to popular destinations like Orlando, Miami, and Boston. The flight will be a three times weekly service that will take place on Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. However, after the northern winter schedule 2022-2023 concludes, the days will shift to Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. The adjustment will begin in March of 2023 for those that are curious. In further exciting news, but not central to route developments, Qantas is continuing to return their Airbus A380s from long-term storage in a big decision for overall network connectivity, service capacity, and much more. Qantas are most definitely ramping up the return of the world's largest passenger plane, as they see continued demand on their international network, and as such, have brought back their sixth from long-term storage only recently. As per the airline, the arrival of another A380 will be critical in coping with the strong surge they expect in travel demand across the holiday season, of course, on their international network. This includes both Christmas and the New Year period. However, while the aircraft has returned very similarly to the A380 I discussed over at Lufthansa, this plane cannot return to service immediately. It will now spend the next couple of weeks with technicians and more who will determine whether the aircraft is fit to re-enter service. These are precautionary measures. After all, the plane is sat inactive and wrapped up in storage for a considerable period, now actually totaling some two plus years as Qantas navigated the global pandemic and grounded this plane. What are your thoughts on some of the big news at the Australian carrier? Do, do let me know your opinions in the comments, whether that be regarding the most recent topic of the Airbus A380s returning back to service, or potentially that new route announcement from Melbourne to Dallas. Being from Melbourne myself, any new connection is more than welcome. Enjoy your weekend. I will see you next time.